Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Orning and today we must prepare everyone for an evacuation of the Entwade and we'll begin by persuading some of the inhabitants to go. Hello, it's time to go. Yeah, I'll miss you friends. Okay. You you'll have to say farewell to his chickens. I have a feeling that the orcs are going to eat those chickens before the time is up. Time to go. Time to go. Alright. Good. Let's see. Here we go. Let's bring her away. Alright. It's time to leave. Okay. That's three. Hello there. Welcome and well met, my friend. Thane Edric wishes to know what has become of our foes. The Uruk still ride along the plains, and the king has done not to drive them off. He stripped of us most of our men, and soon we will have even fewer when Leoflad and the rest depart. The Uruk circle us like vultures, Pineclaw, and there is no telling when they shall strike at us next, or if they direct their wrath towards Middlemead. That is all I know of what is to come, Pineclaw. The people must make ready to leave as soon as they are able to. Alright. And what have we got here? Let's see what Inguk has to say. Our hope lies in strength, but the servants of the enemy are everywhere. It has been long since I have spoken with Thane Edric, and while it is true that my relative's peace is held, I fear it will end soon. During my post a few days ago, I spied orcs across the Antwash, with much difficulty, mind you, passing into the shore of Kingstead. Those orcs looked different, and they did not bear the markings of the White Hand. Moreover, they appear to be fleeing from the farmstead nearby, and perhaps Reed Falstred is as brutal as I have heard been told. I am not one to believe that an orc can know fear, so I am certain we must not see the last of them. Thane Edric surely knows not of this, and he must be advised about any such trouble. All right. So that's what we know about that so far. So what about... Here we go. Another inhabitant to say, all right, it is time to go. Time to say farewell. Very well, we shall go meet Leofod. And... Let's see. Good. Is this the last of the inhabitants we need? All right, time to stop chopping and time to chop, chop. All right. Uh, yes, I shall join you with the others when I finish my work here. Oh, wait, not on my account. It shall not be long. Oh, well. Oh. There is someone on the other side of the river to go and see. I thought I checked it. was just... Or... Oh, oh, here. That's what I missed. Hello there. What's the current situation? Will you aid the Horse Lords? I cannot tell you much more than you already know, Pineclaw. The Urukai have roamed in from the both east and west, and I fear that they have stolen the horses of the Broadacres in their travels. I fear that they are responsible for the Middlemead silence as of his late as well, though I know Bagla would not allow such foes to come close to his people. As well, the trouble facing Entways are numerous enough. None shall be safe until the roads are cleared of their kind. And of that, I am sure Thane Edric knows. Yeah, I have to go and help to clear those roads. Which I presume is going to be soon. Alright, let's see. Hello there, I have my report. The enemy must be punished for encroaching upon our lands. It is as I feared, Pineclaw. 
more foes rally around our lands even now, and with such little time before my people depart, we shall have to find and strike at these threats as soon as we are able to, for only then may my people safe find safe passage. All right. What brings you to these lands? Thank you, Pineclaw. You allowed me a chance to finish with other preparations, and now it appears that everyone is here. Keeping them at my side will likely prove to be challenging. But worry not, Pineclaw, for I have handled far worse. All right, good. And I guess I better get on to a better mount here and start battle. Find these. These are not the ones I need. Actually, black arrows are probably not the best enemy to go against. Oh. One annoyance with these is that they reset if you go any... Ah. That was like the worst way for that to... Is they have a tendency to go into places where there is no amount of combat. They reset, and so you got to start fighting them all over again. It's just annoying. All right. Oh, oh, there's a pillager. Uh, it's pillagers that we want. So let us get to them. Yes, we just gotta find them. All right, there we go. And of course, there's all. Oh, they just follow him. He, it's not like he's like. All right, good. You know how I am with mountain combat. And... Yeah. Let's go. At all time! That's too down. Well, at least it's... Okay, it does seem to be a little bit faster than it was before they made the update, so therefore only annoying instead of super annoying right now let's see and unfortunately there are a few mounted quests in this particular area ah uh, the joys of Rohan uh, oops oops fortunately we've got mainly ambushers in this area looking for pillagers right I'm not too good shape myself. Oh, good grief. Okay, I'm gonna have to follow. I don't think Whew. Alright, now where was I? Oh, waiting for me to recover. Let me build some fury and then charge in at full fury. Charge! Whap! That did nothing. Yeah, that did a lot of nothing. All right, let's see. Even more nothing. And okay, okay, that's four down. Now, let's see, where is that? Ah, there we go. Wow. Should build up a little bit more wrath raising execute. I mean, yeah, wrath. 
Okay, between Wrath and Fury, I am going to get those two names mixed up so many times. So you think being a Bjorning, I should be able to keep those two straight, but nope. Not in the least. Ah, hello there. Okay, good. Got that done. Thank goodness. And if you think I'm going to be doing every single quest in this air, well, I'll have to see. The question is whether or not I can get to how fast I can get to level 88, which is when the next part of the epic is supposed to be. Uh, we'll see how far I get. <laughs> All right. Hey, well, my lord, it is done. I've cleared out some of the roads. There are not enough curses in the world for the invaders of the lands of Rohan. Yes, you bailed the telling marks of a skirmish, Pineclaw. I trust it is done then. Baron skirmish in the same sense. How about that? How apropos. And the Uruks have been fighting with great tenacity of, of late, so I am glad that their riders along the road have been quelled. All right. Invaders have wrought this misery upon us. You have done well, Pineclaw. With these threats identified and my people prepared for the journey, they can set off. You have saved me a great deal of time and provided my people the safe passage that they dearly needed. Their journey will come some take some time, but they will find the sunset of safety within Aldberg. Oh, the surest of safety, yes. Can't you read? You must be a... Fair! Ha <laughs> ha! Never mind. As for those threats to the north and south, I have much more to ask of you before I say my farewells to my wife and people. So do not wander yet, my friend. Alright. Let's see. Hmm. Alright, let's see some medium, vitality. There's some pretty decent vitality in there, so I'll take that for the vitality. There are not enough curses in the world for the invaders of the lands of Rohan. My people stand ready, Pineclaw. I do not wish for them to delay any longer, and the sooner they depart, the sooner I can turn my efforts to defending Entwaid once again. If you will allow me a few moments to say my farewells to my people, and for my beloved Leoflad, I shall find you after they begin their journey. Leoflad is a strong woman, of this I am sure, and she will know how to handle things should any trouble arise on their journey. Pineclaw, these new troubles my men spoke of, they're greatly concerning. I worry about this white hand that rallies for a great assault. Our foes shall not break Entwade, not while I draw breath, but I fear for the folk upon the plains. The captain of my guard may not know of such threats, as he too has been distracted by the bustle of my people, but he must be told, for the time to act draws near. If you will, speak with him in the Mead Hall. All right, so speak to Sirich in the Mead Hall. Okay, into the Mead Hall. All right, and now uh, where is Sirich? I think he's here. Yeah, here he is. Hello, Captain. I've been asked to give you a report from the Thane. The White Wizard has taken everything from us. You bring ill tidings, Traveler. Pineclaw, was it? Yes. I knew of a great many threats in Kingstead, including the Uruks of the North and West. But these orcs that have crossed the shores, they complicate the already wide front of the Entwade. We will need to deal with such things soon. I will speak with my men, 
of what to best be done to defend our settlements, and you should acquaint yourself with the map and the notes on the table while we wait for Edric's return. He will have much to say to Leofad before he bids her farewell, so take as much time as you need. When you are able, speak with Womar, for he will be happy to talk to one as seasoned as yourself. Alright? Okay, maps and notes. What do we have here? A notes and a map of the Westament lay strewn about the table before you. The notes are primarily comprised of terse, unsent missives to Thane Magla of Millsmead and to Reeve Fastred of Snowborn, but one in particular calls the able bodied men to ride to Theoden King's side in the Westfold. The map is heavily marked with numerous forces being noted in Central and Eastern Kingstead, and it also depicts the path of Edric's people through the Northeastern Kingstead into the Eastfold. Into Eastfold. The largest threats are marked on the west and north of the Entway, and to the road to the northwest to be marked as overrun. Okay. So let's speak with Wolmar. Hello, Wolmar. Hail, Traveler. Are you here to help us? You know much of the threats facing us for having arrived so recently, Pinecall. I mean, no offense, but I wish that the others had spoken with us sooner of such concerns so that plans might be already formed. Our men in the field likely know well of such problems, so perhaps they have already begun to work against our foes. For my part, I have heard noises about the town at night, though I know not whence they came. I shall soon have to investigate these, but the others refuse to aid me. Well, no matter. I have dealt with worse on my own. Sirich has more to say to you, or I shall not keep you long from your charge. Alright, and so let's see what Sirich has to say. It is a sad thing to watch your lands die. Wilmar is young and untested, Pineclaw. The last mysterious noise he heard was a chicken making a ruckus in a shed. So much assertion is not new to me. His spirit is strong, though, and I know that in time he shall become a fine warrior. Ho! Oh, did you hear that? I believe Edric has returned and that the people have set off. You should speak with him below when you are able. Alright, so let's see what the Thane has to say. Yeah, it looks like the thing is all nice and settled, and not many others here. Probably there. I presume his wife sits at one of those chairs, and of course she's off, and the captain may be the other one, and I'm sure that he is out in the field. There are not enough curses in the world for the invaders of the lands of Rohan. Aye, Pineclaw. Leoflad and the others have begun their journey. I pray that their travel is swift and unhindered, and I shall send word to them in Aldberg when such time is afforded me. Now then, let us speak of other matters. The right hand is wicked. Hail, Pineclaw. Leoflod and my people have set out to Aldberg, and my hope is that they shall arrive having encountered nary a trouble. Their safety weighs heavily upon me, friend. I have held the wade for years, and I would not have sent them away if I saw not the danger approaching us from all sides. Yet, I wish Theoden had done more to aid us. He could have secured Kingstead before leaving us to fend for ourselves among so many foes. As it stands, he has left his niece to handle his matters here, but I think her no more likely to lead than him, even spared the venomous whisperings of worm tongue. This, of course, brings me to you. You have come into our land and aided my people well. There are many matters to attend to in Entwade, and all of them of dire importance. Without a concerted effort, there can be no way to address them all from as time runs out. Alright. So now we have got people all over the place who are going to be asking for help. I do not understand why we delay here. Traveler, 
Will you do me a favor? Zane Edric has asked that the homes of those who have departed today be boarded up and protect them from any assaults that our foes might launch. I would complete this task myself, but I... And I am certain many others would like to prepare for the defenses for the coming siege. If you would aid us, I have already set out the planks near the homes that need to be boarded up. So all you have to do is to hammer them into place. This will save us a great deal of time, my friend. Alright. Is there anything else inside here? Looks like there is. I'd like to finish up whatever I have to say about the inside before I close out. Okay, Omar, you have something else to say? Do you bring provisions? Pineclaw, I have something to ask of you. As Searich says, I have heard noises coming from the privies about the town in the night, but I have not been able to track their source. Searich and the others think me mad, but I know that something has taken up the hiding in the Entwade. If we are to secure the town as Edric demands, would it not be reasonable to investigate such a thing? If you would humor me, I would be grateful for your kindness. Go into town and search the privies. I am certain the noise must be coming from one of them, but the sounds have come from a different direction each night, so you'll need to check them all. Alright, so I need to check the privies. As well as to board up some homes. And that's what we'll do in our next episode of Finding Plays of the Bjorning.